Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Get right with you. I'ma get right with you. Bad bitches, fuck up, they dismiss it. Bang. Bang, really hit her, take no bitches. Middle finger up for the system. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Tom the Boss, back with another video. Today we're going to be showing you how to I make my thumbnails on YouTube and if this video can get 4 likes I'll show you how I make my YouTube videos or I'll show you my second way how I make my thumbnails for my anime games or whatever because this is going to be a different way if you're just making like a thumbnail of yourself so first you want to come on this game called Unique photo shoot then you want to spawn you want to spawn up those stairs oh no not stairs but you want to spawn over here by these chairs and these tables I think and you just walk down here to the green screen this game on Roblox is really helpful for just making thumbnails you can join unique to get different faces and everything you come in the green screen and yeah you do poses so first you've got your right arm and you can see you can move your right arm into any position you want yeah then once you're done you just press R and it moves on to the next thing left leg you want to move your left leg out you just put your mouse there then you press R for the next right leg oh for goodness sake someone just standing there and you press R again to move your hand again then once you are done you want to take a screenshot or just make sure you're part of the green screen you're in the green screen make sure you can do whatever you want I don't know whatever poses you want there's a better way you could do it way better than me I'm just messing around this is just because I've already got one taken once you have taken your screenshot of you in the green screen we can go to the next part of the video if you are on a Mac like me I just take a screenshot of the thing and then crop it to take a green screenshot it's just command shift free on Mac now on to the editing part what's up guys we're back in Safari load up your Safari and I'll put this website link in the description. It's called pixlr.com. Go straight to this website. Now, the first thing you do, after you've cropped your photo, you can do that on the home screen. You see my cropped photo there. Come, yeah, my cropped photo. Go to Safari. Now you're here at Pixlr. Now, you are going to start editing your thumbnail. We're going to use two different editors, okay? two different ones because I don't really like this editor when it comes to the writing and the wording I like that other one first you're going to click file then you're going to click new image now the one for YouTube is width 1260 2 720 then you want to click transparent okay next oh wait, I already had this one so boom okay so next we've got this next you want to go to layer now you want to open image as layer wait first you first go on Yahoo and just find I don't know any any background that you want from your video I just searched up um, anime background thumbnail or you can just write thumbnail what's it called you could just write thumbnail backgrounds just go wait for it to load up on Yahoo or I don't know what you use Safari please don't demonetize me um, I just used Hmm, there's the one I had. I just used this one. This one. Then I screenshotted it, cropped it. 
Then once you've got this ready, all screenshot and cropped into its exact size, you want to come back to here, you want to go to open image as layer. Next thing you want to do is select it. That's mine. I'm going to select it. And look, boom, it's right here. Next you want to go to your mouse. If you're on Mac, it's Shift T, but if you're on others, it's Control T. This will bring it up like this. You stretch it to the size of the screen. And boom, click, just click off the screen like somewhere on the black. And if there's one apply the changes, you press yes. Now we've got a background. Next, you want to go on to layer again. And with your cropped photo, you want to press open images layer. And you want to go to the screenshot you cropped, the view in the green screen. Next you think you want to do is go to here, wand tool. Click on the green and make sure everything is the right things getting cropped out. Just make sure the whole body has been surrounded by the little squiggly lines. Then press backspace or delete and boom. There you have it. Now you want to move tool it again. Oh, oh no, I think I messed up. You want to move him. Ignore the green stuff, it'll disappear. Then, next thing you want to do is move this out of the way. And if there's any green stuff in it, you can just click backspace. Now we have this here. Next thing you want to do is press Shift T or if you're on Mac or Control T and on, you want to press apply changes. What's up guys? I'm back. My mic just muted. So I'm just going to re-show you. Yeah, you probably know. Click the wand. Press delete. Next, you want to get the move tool. You want to move this guy out of your way. Oh. You just move this guy out here, move this guy out there, move this guy out here again, and you want to press Shift T or Control T depending what you're using. Apply changes, yes. Next, you want to come. Oh, I've messed up again. So basically, what you want to do is just go to layer. Let me show it again really quickly. Open. Grab the one tool. Delete. Move him. Move him out here. That's when you want to press Shift T. No, not this one. Just delete that. Want to apply changes? Yes. Then now he's here. Next thing you want to do is press Shift T or Control T, depending what you're using, and you just want to make him as big as you want. Mine's gonna be oh, that's a bit off shaped. Oh. Mine is going to be like this. Boom. My nice sprinkled top hat. And yep, right there. Do you want to push apply changes? Yes. Next, you want to go to layer and press open image as layer. Now you can actually first, you can go on and you can add any more pictures you want to your thumbnail. So every single picture that you need to add, just add it now because this is the best time. So if you want any more pictures, so pixel. This is pixel is the thing I'm using right now. So I'm gonna type up pixel and put it, put the logo in it. Take a picture of one of the logos. I'm using this one. And yep, just don't worry about the white screen. You can put the white screen as well. Crop it out. And then remember to take pictures is Command Shift. 
free on Mac and then if you want to crop something out you use this just drag across hold down on your mouse drag across and activate this you want to activate this and press crop basically right now you want to crop that stuff out next you want to go to um, snapper you want to write snapper I wrote it wrong anyway just come down here click on the snapper logo I use this one then next you can come back to the online photo editor and oh, let me make my guy no he's okay yep and you can go to layer you can open image as new layer and then next you can add your things in don't worry about the white background because then you can just use your magic wand again magic wand delete magic wand delete now you can pick up the thing you can pick up the logo you can decide where to put it maybe I want it here just pick shift T and it'll move just make just sometimes the thing will move off the screen which will delete some of it so you just gotta redo it but this time it was okay that's why I was struggling before next you want to put the logo wherever you want to put it I'm gonna put one here Actually, let me put it up here boom you want to apply changes yes just click the screen then you want to add another layer because I just want to do it you don't have to do this but for whatever and it's just the same process you want to open this one's even more bigger be careful try not to put it over your other characters because you might end up deleting them so keep them a good space away and just delete boom bang T then you just want to shrink you want to shrink it oh I'm shrinking something else apply changes yes and you just move this shift T just make it really tiny as small as you want move it to wherever you want on the page and boom now we are done this if you're on Mac you can take a screenshot of this command shift 3 take a screenshot boom Also, remember, if this video gets up to five likes, I'll show you how I record my YouTube videos. So first, you want to go to the screenshot of it. Open it up. Just crop. Put the picture instead of downloading it. This is so much more easier than downloading photos, I found out crop it and there's your thumbnail now you're acting you're gonna probably be like what but where's the where's the um lettering well that's why we're using snapper for i'm also going to put this in the description okay this is my old thumbnail let's go to create a graphic so this is a really good creator just go to youtube thumbnail and you can pick any standard one to come off of you can use one of these you can tell this is what I use for my recent video but just for simple for simple just to make this video simple you go to plus and go to background 
uploads, upload an image. And just upload the image, yeah. Make sure to go to background and go to upload. Upload the image. Just click on the image once. And boom. Next you want to grab the text, press add heading or whatever you want. And choose a nice colour. I'm going to choose a red to go with the fire. Let's pick this red. And pick a nice font. Let's do this one. How to. Then you can go to text again, add another heading. Make sure you double click on the lettering to change it. You've got to double click. How to make cool thumbnails in Roblox. So we can go to okay, from from nails in Change the font again. Cool thumbnails. And then in, and then I downloaded. You can go to graphics and you can upload any like things you want to add in. I downloaded a Roblox one. So you just need that tiny. In Roblox. Boom. And this is how to make cool thumbnails in Roblox. Command free, crop the picture out, and put it on your video. This is Top the Boss signing out. <laughs>